If there's one thing you can't say about Battersea, it's that it's short of railways. There have been several stations over the years, with another due to be added as part of the Northern Line extension to the power station. Today I'd like to take a quick look at two of those stations. The first is Queenstown Road, originally Queen's Road. This was built by the London and South Western Railway in 1877, on their line into Waterloo. It lies between Vauxhall and Clapham Junction. It also received services from Wilsdon Junction, run by the London and North Western Railway, no relation. Oddly enough, despite its position on one of the busiest lines in Britain, it's not all that heavily served these days. For one thing, there are no platforms for trains to Wimbledon, only for those heading towards Richmond, Hounslow and destinations beyond. It's only served by stopping services. That being said, it's a station I like because plenty of attention has been paid to its heritage. There's London and South Western Railway signage on the outside, as you can see, and the booking hall has been restored in the colours of the Southern Railway, who took the station over from the LSWR in 1923. There are other signs of the station's past that aren't so intentional. There's this cool abandoned platform. I remember well in the 90s that the platforms over here that are still in use were also uncovered timber like this, although they have made improvements since then. Well, improvements if you don't think timber platforms are cool, which I do because I'm strange like that. The main station building actually dates from 1909, as does the aforementioned cool abandoned platform. Before that, the entrance was this rather basic door under the bridge, and you can still see where the old signage would have been. This entrance is still in use when the booking office is closed. The entire station is today Grade 2 listed. It's had a couple of name changes over the years. Originally it was Queen's Road, as was the road it stood on. During the Second World War, Queen's Road was renamed Queen's Town Road. The station followed suit in 1980. Insert joke about British Rail punctuality here. These days it's officially known as Queenstown Road Battersea, Battersea in brackets. Although whether the full title is used or not varies depending upon which publication you're looking at. Now for the other station, which is just 350 yards away. This is Battersea Park. It's a little older than Queenstown Road, having been opened in 1867 by the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. The main station building is absolutely gorgeous. The station at platform level tends not to get so many props from railway enthusiasts, but personally I think it's not without its charms. I like this high-backed, sort of slightly church-pew-looking seat, for instance, and there's some really rather splendid ironwork. Plus it has another cool wooden platform. In parts it's a little rickety, like these stairs from platforms 4 and 5, which are rather uneven and only a fool would try to walk down them while also filming. Battersea Park is also a kind of secret London overground station, which I guess justifies calling this a tale from the tube, not that I ever need that. As you can see, there was an overground train there when I visited on Sunday, and there's an official service once in the morning and once in the evening on weekdays. It's mostly a parliamentary train, one that exists so that the line to Wandsworth Road is still officially in use. It's also a handy place to divert trains if there are any issues at Clapham Junction. The station is due to be improved with the coming of the Northern Line. Battersea Power Station um, station will open nearby, offering interchange, and therefore it's anticipated that demand for Battersea Park will increase. Step-free access will be a key part of this, but fans of the original station need not be too worried. This station, too, is Grade 2 listed. And maybe, uh, this is just speculation on my part, maybe we'll see an improvement in overground services too. The future should be pretty interesting for this little station. Hi all, 
I hope you enjoyed this two for the price of one tale from the tube. The connection to the underground is quite tenuous, but then so's the interchange between Battersea Park and Battersea Power Station. Hey all, I crack myself up. If you enjoyed the video, then please do hit like and maybe subscribe if you see fit. I'm thinking I'd like to look at some of the other stations in Battersea, both extant and closed. If that's something you'd like to see, then do let me know in the comments section. And I'll see you very soon for another tale from the tube.